Approximately 15 years ago, I got into photography. I've always been a nature guy. And after having traveled for the last 15 years uh, throughout the United States, Canada, Central America, South America, and a few foreign countries doing mostly nature photography, I decided to sort of return to my roots to go back to botany, which I've always liked. But it had to be in a different way. It can't just be straight botanical or flower images that's been done so many times. Since I started in photography, I like what's known as macro photography. I, I like being able to enlarge small details that the average person probably overlooks. My main goal is to try to produce a great image. Uh, it took me several months to try to come up with something that was a truly different rendering of plant life. So this project involves first uh, gathering specimens out in the fields and woods that would work with this technique. When I'm out searching for specimens, I'm looking for something that's got preferably unusual morphology. And hopefully some aspect of the specimen has uh, is translucent, either the petals, the sepals, or the leaves. Uh, everything is done indoors under controlled lighting situation. That was the first step to come up with a lighting situation that would give a different image. And then I do the focus stacking. You start either the front or the back of the subject and with a macro lens, the depth of field is only about a half a millimeter. So if it's about an inch wide specimen, that would take about 50 images if I step through a half millimeter at a time. And then you use a focus stacking software, which is an algorithm that selects just the in-focus pixels and then builds a composite image of just the in-focus pixels. For better or worse, I love detail and especially fine structural detail. And that's what this type of focus stacking macro photography reveals. I find it fascinating, and especially the variety of morphology and plant architecture is just fascinating to me. So that's what I'm mainly attracted to in this project.